in order to define the order properties of r we will have to first define a you know very important set of real numbers which is the positive numbers the set of all positive real numbers so we will define the set say p p is the set set p of positive uh, real numbers okay now this set follows the following axioms this set follows the following axiom there are three axioms which it follows there exist a so there exist a non empty non empty subset p of r satisfying the following satisfying the following and what is it that it follows number 1 if a and b if a b belong to this set p then they should be closed under addition so 1 a plus b should also belong to p so closed under addition okay number 2 if a and b belong to again p then they should be closed under multiplication as well so ab should also belong to p so the same thing closed under dot mm -hmm. finally a very important property property of trichotomy trichotomy says that if a belongs to r then exactly one of the following holds and what is that a belongs to p or a equals to 0 or minus a belongs to p okay so from here we will come from here we will come to the definition of order in r from here we come to order in r so let me just recap once again what we just learned in the positive uh, set so what we learned that for a belonging to p we write a is greater than 0 and call that a is positive okay for a belonging to p union 0 what will we write a is greater than or equal to 0 and a is non negative okay similarly a minus a belongs to p we write that a is less than 0 minus a belonging to p we write that a is less than 0 we say a is negative and minus a belonging to p union 0 a is less than or equal to 0 a is non positive okay non positive now finally giving you the order property of r so our order relation on r let a and b be two real numbers 
let a and b be two real numbers so number one if a minus b belongs to p or the positive set of numbers we will write we will write a is greater than b or b is less than a and say that a is bigger than b okay and number two if a minus b belongs to p in union zero okay what do we say we say that a is greater than or equal to b or b is less than or equal to a and we say that a is greater than or equal to b so trichotomy would imply that trichotomy will imply that's just an extension to this that i'm giving you trichotomy will imply that one of these three should hold. Now, what should hold between A and B? Either A can be greater than B or A can be equal to B or A can be less than B. One of these have to have to hold. 